movieweb.com. Well, to begin with, I wanted to ask you a little bit to if you could talk a little bit about the movie and your and your character Mary and what she's sort of going through in the film. Uh, the movie is expecting Mary. Obviously, I play Mary. Um, Mary is a wonderful individual that has kind of lost her way and is in search for a little comfort and support. And through this crazy journey, she bumps into Elliot Gould's character, who takes her to this wonderful um, casino filled with beautiful showgirls who take her in and teach her the meaning of love and comfort and support. And, and your character is one of these... Uh one of the one of these showgirls that lives in this uh, in, in in this park, correct? Yes, she's the <laughs> well. I love Darnella, Darnella Dare. Now, isn't that a great character's name? I love her. And um, she used to be a showgirl in Las Vegas, and it was a time when Las Vegas didn't need just women walking around with feathers and headdresses. They wanted more skin and uh, more dancing, and Darnella didn't quite fit into that. That genre. So she kind of drifted away and found a wonderful job at an Indian casino in New Mexico. And now she lives in a trailer park. But everything about Darnella is about glamour. So no matter how small her world is at this moment, she makes it glamorous. And then enter Mary. <laughs> so um, then her world becomes full and wonderfully complicated and deliciously loving all the things that have uh, come together to make her life really enhanced. And how is she able to help Mary sort of on her journey? Well, it, there, I feel that there's a mutual, there's a mutual help. Um, when Olisi and I first met, we, we were um, lucky enough to have a soundstage where just the two of us were in the trailer. So we got to bond. We had three days of mm -hmm. crazy, wonderful, uh, exciting bonding and uh, I think that was the glue really that because um, it had to be a really strong relationship. Yeah. We needed to be um, together not only as co-stars but definitely as our characters had to be that close. So I think that you can read that when it's not there organically. Um, so Lynn and I were really really grateful to have those three days in that trailer to really get to know each other, make each other laugh and really make that um, relationship between Darnell and Mary real. Right. Um, I think Mary brings another aspect to Darnella's life of like maybe a family or a future or just a different idea of life because all of a sudden it's not just about being a showgirl and being fabulous, it's also about Mary and she's pregnant. It's just different little worries and that's always interesting to add that to your life and I think Mary gets support and love and comfort and all these things that she never had as a child and for the first time a mother or a mother figure and that's really like warming to her heart and she never had that before. I think at first she was kind of rebuttaling it almost um, but towards the end she realizes how important that is and how she needs to learn that because she soon will have a child. And coming off of um, High School Musical and some of the other films you've done, this is a big difference to you know, play a pregnant teen. What was it kind of like? Did, did you have to do some research? Did you do any kind of, you know, well, how did you sort of build that character and, and figure out, get inside her head what she's going through emotionally? Um, playing Mary was a blast. Luckily for me, I, I have TLC, <laughs> so I watched a lot of A Baby Story <laughs> of all these pregnant women having babies, like over and over again, my, my poor boyfriend. <laughs> um, so I did do my research on that. I googled a lot, but I also had wonderful women on set with me. Linda's had children, a lot of women on set had children, so anytime I had questions, I'm like, wait, wait, am I doing the right <laughs> yeah. thing? Do I look pregnant? So. Well, we're helping her through the breathing and uh, yes. you know, just all these great, <laughs> great <laughs> hysterical I things we were going through together. Um, I, I start going into labor in a car and Darnella is driving, Linda's driving, and in between takes, I'd be like, Linda, am I doing the right thing? Do I look like I'm going through labor? <laughs> so that was really nice. Um, <laughs> No, but we also have a great director, uh, Dan Gordon, and he really kind of helped you know coach me as much as he could and be like, okay, that looks good. And then he'd ask other females as well, and, and the crew and the cast, be like, well, she looks realistic. But I did do my research, but it's something that I don't think you could really, you know, know until you are actually doing it. <laughs> yeah, all of the mothers on the set would say, okay, more, breathe, push, <laughs> lean back, you know, so we were all coaching her. Cloris told me to spray more. <laughs> <laughs> so well, and you've <laughs> such a wonderful cast of, of actors and actresses, veteran actors and actresses. Had you worked with a lot of the people in the film before? Was this kind of an exciting opportunity for you to oh, it was mix with some because friends? because Darnella got to work with almost everybody. Mm -hmm. I didn't I didn't get to work with Gene Simmons or Fred Willard. Um, so those were the only two I missed and um, 
and dear L.A. Gould died too quickly. <laughs> so, <laughs> right. I shouldn't say that. Anyway, I didn't get to take, did, we can't put that on, we can't say did that. You, the scene didn't happen, that scene the didn't scene happen. The scene didn't happen between Elliot and I, but I adore, we hung out with there, Elliot on the set, so um, mm. we just, we had a great, and the cast was amazing. I mean, it was like, oh, let's work with, go with Chorus today and Della tomorrow and Lainey the next day. It was like, bring it on. And how was Dan sort of orchestrating all of these, you know, wonderful actors? The, this, for me, the script was orchestrated perfectly. So there was a rhythm. There was, a, you know, the, all the ups and downs and weavings of all the characters. So um, you know, he had it pretty well orchestrated from the page. And I got really lucky because I've never... And they won't let me say this, and by they I mean our amazing cast, but they're Hollywood royalty, and for me to be able to work with you guys was so awesome. Everyone's really humble. Were you aware of their body of work, and, or did oh, you have yeah. to kind of go back? Oh yeah, I did my research, and... trust me, I knew who they were. I like, oh. <laughs> when I met Elliot, and, and well, that was my first day. That's right. My first day on set, I'm like, okay, here's your pregnancy suit. So I'm like, okay, kind of overwhelming, you know. I'm like, hi, Linda. Then I meet Elliot, I'm like, hi. <laughs> I've seen all your stuff. <laughs> but um, they were great, really humble, and they taught me a lot. Like, Linda taught me how to breathe in between takes <laughs> and scenes and how to listen. And something um, that I learned from you was uh, when I would mess up my vocabulary or I would do, like, past tense, she would correct me. And that just taught me, like, hey, she's really listening. Like, listen to your co-stars. If they say was instead of is, go with it. And I never, not, I haven't really paid attention to that prior to this film, so that was fun. Oh, so that was sort of, in, in a sense, like a learning experience oh, for I you. So oh, much. Wow. Every day, every single day, in the short eighteen days of filming, oh, no, but I learned days. every it's day. Crazy. Yeah. And 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 compare it to other projects you've worked on. Was it a grueling uh, a, a shoot? Was it kind of easy? What? How? How was it? It was magical because most of the other things I've done have been like a long, like a movie of the week or a series where you just, you know, I mean, Dallas was thirteen years, <laughs> so um, it was. This was different. The the. The cool thing, I'm the, I'm the very coolest was meeting everybody. Uh, the other thing was what we, we only had 18 days to shoot. And the, the joy for me was getting up and going to work every morning because everybody knew we had 18 days. And there was no messing around. We all came. We were like kids going to our first day of school every day. And it was like, wasn't it? It was mm -hmm. just like, okay, let's go. Let, what are we going to do today? We get to do this scene. We get to play with the pig today. La, la, la. <laughs> I mean, there were just like so many uh, different, interesting uh, pieces to the film. The crew was great. I mean, everybody just wove together and uh, you know, focused on what we had to do in 18 days. <laughs> wow, that's impressive. We have to give serious props to um, our crew. They were amazing. Yeah. They, they really pulled it from everyone, from every grip to every ultrasound. They did everything. and. Everything Everyone was on top of their game, and Dan did a great job of being kind of the circus director <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and making everyone, making everyone jump through yeah. the hoops that they need to the, you know, get our day finished. So. And the other thing was that we had the um, most amazing uh, wardrobe people, uh, hair and makeup, because in that makeup trailer, I mean, if all these women lined up, you know, next, and everybody telling stories and eating breakfast and hanging out. And the makeup people, notoriously, makeup and hair, they know everything. They know all the <laughs> all the juices. <laughs> yeah, they know who's doing what and what and what happened here and blah blah blah. So it was you know we'd hang out in the makeup trailer and um, just, just sh share stories about our lives and our careers and um, it was that was a great. Time. So a lot of the bonding kind of yeah, happened there. Sure, oh, that's great. Sure.